So last night, good morning, it's Thursday. Last night, um, our internet never came back on to like 5.30 this morning. I don't know, holy moly. I don't know what happened, but something apparently big happened because um, they down the road from us had like a huge hole cut in the ground and a bunch of crews were working. Anyhow, it's back. Um, we have really bad weather today. So I um, canceled my appointment to go to the social security office, which is probably a good, good idea because our current front yard is flooding. We have an actual river moving through our front yard right now. I'm trying to figure out, I want to wash my hair and get that done today. I don't have too much to do on my list, a bunch of stuff here at the house. Meal plan, I need to look up tile company to do our backsplash in our kitchen. Um, we're going to use the money that we got from the estate sale to do that. And then what we have left over, if we have anything left over, we're going to use for our gates. has more on his plate than your husband does. Oh, I forgot you're in your underwear. How <laughs> Also, I heated up all of my um, coffee creamer and mixed it together. And this time it dissolved the brown sugar. I didn't add the cinnamon and now there's like no specks in it. So I'm very interested to see what how this tastes tomorrow morning so i'm letting it cool before i put it in the fridge but the boys are eating breakfast i'm gonna go get ready the thing with that coffee creamer which i didn't like vlog yesterday i don't think was that um i went to go pour some in my uh cup and all of a sudden like a glob fell out of my coffee creamer like a congealed something and um the cats i don't know what's going on but they will not get out from underneath my feet i have to do like the stingray shuffle through the house because they're constantly under my feet and it's mainly nico and key it's not so much tara but anyhow um so i was like let me try to really heat up the coffee creamer today like this morning and try to dissolve everything because last time I only heated up the milk aspect and I had the brown sugar and the cinnamon in it. Um, but I didn't really let it get super hot because in the in the instructions on it, it said do not let boil. So I was panicking and I was like, I don't want to like scour, is that what it's called? The coffee, not the coffee, but the like milk. But this time I was a little bit more ballsy and I let it sit there and I just did like a really low warm heat and I let it go for a little bit um, until I noticed everything seemed incorporated much more better than last time. So I'm hoping that this time it's really gonna make a difference and it's not gonna get like that glob of stuff settled at the bottom because I had to shake last week's coffee creamer every morning vigorously to get it all incorporated back in. And this one like is one solid color. There's no specs. We are back from Luga's MRI. It's actually six o'clock, which is wild to me. Um, our taxes took freaking forever to do. I hate doing taxes. I hate, hate, hate taxes so much. Um, but they're done. Don't have to do them for a whole nother year, which I'm excited about. I have dinner like a third of the way prepared, but 
Somehow I missed adding an ingredient on our list for the Publix list for last week. So we were gonna do our grocery shopping on Sunday. Kevin had to go do it tonight because we need it for dinner. We need an ingredient for dinner. So we might as well knock it out. It was already like made and everything. So he's doing the grocery shop real quick and then he's gonna come back. I'm gonna finish up dinner. We're probably going to bathe Luca and put him down for the night. He only took one nap today because we got to the MRI or we got to the hospital and he'd already skipped his first nap at that point, which I was like, this is gonna be rough. And then we get there and our MRIs have never taken long at all. And then um, today they were like, hey, we're running 30 minutes behind and then come to find out it was actually an hour behind. And so by the time we got taken back, he got his MRI done and we got back home. It was already like 1.30 or something like crazy. So um, he fought his like second nap, which was technically his first nap, but it was around the time that he should be taking a second nap because he was just overly tired. So um, anyhow, he took that. He's up playing now. And uh, yeah, I'm just trying to finish up dinner. I'm making the cheeseburger casserole, which is just like rice, cauliflower, um, cheese, hamburger meat, pickles, and like a mustard sauce that you make on the stove. Nothing crazy. I'm not sure if I've actually made it for you guys yet before, but I was trying to update our Publix list while Kevin was driving to Publix to make sure we had absolutely everything on there that we needed because I wasn't fully prepared to do the shop today like i said i thought we were gonna do it sunday so i still thought i had a little bit of time but um yeah that's why i didn't film it so i'm so sorry Biscuits are amazing. Everything is amazing. Mm. This is so good. And I've been craving biscuits and mm -hmm. gravy. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is a for sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. No. And you know, I like the gravy because mm. it's more meat than gravy, which is good. So. Because sometimes it's just swimming in gravy and then you have a big old bottle of gravy in the And barely any meat, yeah. Mm -hmm. The one thing, if I make this again, I would double the gravy recipe because it's not that much mm. for the biscuits, mm. for the amount of biscuits we have. But I'm impressed. To make like a double batch of the gravy? Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. Hello, it is Saturday. And Luke and I are on our way to the Swap and Shop. Excited to see what I can pick up for free. So I donated those um, two boxes of clothes for Alicia to go through and set up. So I'm also excited to see how she has the, I almost said salon, but it's not at the salon. It's at um, our friend's photography studio. Um, I'm excited to see how she has the studio set up and hopefully Luca will be 
chill and we can hang out for a little while. We're here. I haven't been recording this whole time. Um, okay. So I was saying that Luke and I just left Walgreens and even though I got the new um, Aura photo frame that Tim Tracker talks about in all of his videos, he sold it to me, you know, um, they, uh, so the Aura photo frame is just like a digital photo frame, but you don't have a monthly fee and there's no cap on how many photos you can upload to it which I'm not 100% sure like how it works like that, but I'm not complaining. Um, so I got it, I set it up and I've been uploading photos to it. I think right now it has like 250 photos that have been added to it and it just like cycles through them. There's all different um, like times that you can have it shuffle them and all kinds of stuff. But I still want some like printed out photos around the house. I've got some cute gold frames I want to fill. So I put in an order to Walgreens and um, Luke and I just picked those up, headed back from the swap and shop and I got a uh, like grocery bag full of clothes. I think I got like five or six pieces. So that's exciting. Kevin today was uh, like mowing the yard and working on getting like the outside front of our house ready for next weekend, which is Luca's birthday party. Okay, so I successfully got Luca down for a nap. Looking for his monitor. Oh, I put it back in here. All right, so I see that Kevin has told me he has gotten the lawnmower stuck multiple times now and it's stuck again. It looks like he uh, has to keep yanking it out with his truck. <laughs> I think that's literally like the little soft divity area. So I think he thought that he could run it over with the lawnmower and it wouldn't dip down, but most definitely fell into the, the hole, so. so. Let me turn Lucas' monitor on so I can take, oh yeah, he's out. Um, keep an eye on him, but I wanted to show you guys what I got today. Um, the first thing that I got was a jacket and like, Gabby, why did you get a jacket? I don't know. I just thought it was like, kind of going to be a look for fall. So it's like a corduroy, um, I don't know. It reminds me of like a cargo jacket. So it's got like a bunch of pockets on the front. Oh, it's got some stains. I didn't even realize it had some like paint stains or something. I wonder if I can get those out. Hmm. Um, so yeah, I picked up this shacket. I think that's what it's called. I'm not really sure. I got these pair of jean shorts. They're kind of like a gray-ish color. They're old navy high rise and I don't have any shorts that are like this color and they're like more minimally distressed so I thought they would be good to have. I got this really cute top that's forever 21. I got this skirt which this skirt is one of the things that I kind of was like do I like it? I don't know. I'm not really like a fan of the buttons that are going down the front. I wish it was just like a midi length skirt, but you know, I thought I'll give it a try. I'm really excited about these pants and I hope they fit, but they have like a, a drawstring. So I'm hoping I can cinch them if I need to, but they're just like linen, blue and white striped pants. And then they have like a little thing on the side, like a little cut, love these. They're size medium and I'm size small right now. So like I said, I'm hoping they're gonna fit. And then I got this really cute dress. It's brown. It has like a brown slip underneath it. It's hard for you guys to tell, but it's like a mesh, it's a mesh dress over a brown slip. 
anyhow, those were my finds for today. I'm going to throw these um, in the laundry so I can get them done and hung up because I don't really have anything else that I need to like get done around the house today. So, also got a new front door mat. That looks okay. But I'm just going to go relax. I grabbed a Coke while we were at um, Walgreens. And actually, I may bring my Coke out here and watch him because it's kind of nice out here. So I might grab a baby monitor and just come out here and chill. There's a lovely breeze. Um, that's one thing I have to say about moving here. There is so much more of like a breeze here. It's really weird. But anyhow, um, yeah. So I, my bangs are a little wild from being out here in the wind, but I did just go through and I updated all of my Amazon lists. So we have a house list that has like random stuff that we've bought for the house linked so if you see something that i've shown you guys that i'm like oh we bought this for the house nine out of ten times it's from amazon and i try to link them just in case you also want them i do make a small commission off of you clicking the link and then buying stuff on amazon but it doesn't cost you anything um but i need to show you guys our new kitchen bar stools because i'm obsessed with them they're so cute my grandparents had bar stools like these when I was growing up and I saw them and I was like, no freaking way. They're vintage replica, um, but I still love, love, love them so much. So um, I put those together the other night and I think I was telling you guys like our kitchen, our kitchen essentially is like done minus the backsplash and then minus the TV in the living room. Um, but I added like a bunch of random stuff that we've gotten recently, like our front doormat just came today. And um, I updated our baby list. So things that I've bought from Luca or for Luca recently that we've loved. Um, so it should be like baby list, house list. I didn't add anything new to Kevin's favorites. And there's one more list, what is it? Kitchen favorites, house favorites, baby favorites, and Kevin's favorites. I think are the three um so if there's anything that I've shown you guys that you're like what's the link to that give me more information just let me know all the stuff that's on my list we actually absolutely love and um most of the time I shop around for like the best deal so uh oh I also added on our kitchen list so we're not buying paper towels anymore because like I said I'm trying to convert to more sustainable well we're I'm also not using plastic k-cups anymore i'm using the metal k-cups now so um those are on the kitchen list too i love the metal k-cups and i got the little i'll add this to the list because i didn't add it yet but i got the little like filters that go in the metal k-cups and they're so easy to clean you just put in two scoops of your coffee grounds into it pop it in your um machine your keurig and it works perfectly i love it so so much um but back to not buying paper towels anymore. We, I shopped around online for what I wanted to substitute them out with. So a lot of people do untowels. Untowels are kind of expensive and they're, they come in like a really, typically like, I don't really like the um, patterns that untowels come into or come in. So I ended up um, finding a, a uh, pack of washcloths that are like Otex. So they're sustainable washcloths that are made like with like good textiles and stuff like that. And I got like a pack of 24 for like $22 or something crazy. So way cheaper than the untowels. And I can show you guys when I go show you the bar stools, how I have them in the kitchen, but we've been using them. And then I've just been doing like kitchen towels every couple days like laundry and I've been really enjoying it so one less thing that we have to buy which is great uh to lessen a grocery bill I can show you guys our new stools what was the other thing I was going to show you guys the frame the picture frame
so those are our new stools. They're so comfortable to sit in and they're like the perfect height for our um, little countertop, our island. They're not too incredibly tall to where like when you're sitting in them, you're like having to look down if you're like working on something. It's just like the perfect height. I giggle at how many times I say like, anyhow. Um, and then our photo frame. This is the kind of stuff that Kevin lives for. He lives for yard work. So I know he's having the best time out there except for getting stuck. And he said things keep getting stuck to his blade um, when he runs stuff over. But he said that after like this first initial time of cutting everything, then he should have an easier time cutting it next time. And hopefully not as many things will get stuck to his blades. But I know he's just like living for this. And the weather's pretty nice. It's probably hot out in the sun, but like, <laughs> Over here in the shade, it's lovely. We woke up. <gasps> He's not super happy. Can you spend some time outside? thinking when Kevin gets done with the little area that he's mowing it's a lot of weeds but the way that he's mowing it down I think it's gonna look like grass I think it's gonna look pretty nice yeah look at that little area that was all just high weeds and now it looks like kind of grass all right so Kevin was starting to get a little too close for, to us for comfort for me um, with us being out there just because uh, there's so many just unknown things in our yard that um, he was starting to hit like tree branches and stuff and it was starting to fling them so I didn't want something to go flying and hit Luca so we came inside here it is I want to make the sauce for the Big Mac Sloppy Joes for tonight's leftovers to just like heighten our leftover experience. So we don't feel like we're having leftovers, we feel like we're having a whole new meal. So I'm going to make the sauce for that. It's just like copycat Big Mac sauce. Um, I'll tell it to you really quick. It's one cup mayonnaise, a fourth cup of French dressing two tablespoons sweet relish, one tablespoon ketchup, one teaspoon white vinegar, a fourth of a teaspoon of onion powder, and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And you just mix it all up and that's it. This morning I wanted to try something different with Luca and see if it helped with his naps. So we woke up, we ate breakfast, we got ready, and we pretty much left the house. I did do a quick cleanup um, because my dad's coming over and I wasn't sure how long we'd be out of the house for. And my dad mentioned that he was just going to text us to see um, about what time to come over that it might be around noon so I wanted to do a quick clean before we left so I like vacuumed picked up put the couch together all that kind of fun stuff and then we headed out to Walmart which you guys saw 
um, I've been seeing these TikToks, right, about free people dupes at Walmart, and um, my friends have been posting really cute little toddler outfits from Walmart, and I was like, okay, there's a, I thought, a Walmart that's in a different town than us that's a little... Sorry, there's like a kid in the house, like kid in the backyard in the house in front of us, but she doesn't have a kid, so I'm very confused. Anyhow, um, I was like, it's, it should be a, like a good Walmart. I bet they have the stuff that I've been seeing everyone post. So I'm like, let's go to that one. We kind of have two Walmarts that are equal distance away from us. It's about a 30-ish minute drive to each of the Walmarts. So, um, I was like, let's go to this one. It's the one that I've been to before. It's like pretty nice. It's a nice-ish Walmart. So hoping they're going to have the stuff. Anyhow, they didn't have the stuff. They didn't have anything that I've seen online, but I did get Lucas some cute outfits. He, um, doesn't have a lot of like summer outfits for the size that he's in. So he's in like, I don't know. If, so I'm getting into like sizing that I'm not sure for kids, for toddlers. Is it 12 to 18 is like the next little like gap of sizes I think um so they didn't have a lot in size 12 but they had a decent amount in 18 so I did a little mix and match kind of situation so anyhow I was getting ready to pull all of the stuff off and wash these but I figured I'd give you guys a little toddler haul so I got him these cute little shorts they are just granimals and you cannot beat the price for this $2.98 that's like almost goodwill price. So, um, I got these and then there's a top. Hold on, let me just dump out this bag. I got him a decent amount of little outfits. So there is a top that I got that goes. So this is a little top that goes with it. So this was like the two piece set that I got. It says mommy's chill dude. And this one's in 12 months. So both of these are in 12 months. I got him these little shorts in 12 months that have little gaiters on it and it just says chomp chomp and then this shirt goes with it this shirt was on sale it's 12 months um it was like 30 percent off and it just says later gator but i didn't realize that they actually go together um which is great because this was over in a different section than these pants um and then did I get him any other 12 months stuff? So then I got him these shorts, which were 12 months. These are also granimals, but they're like a little bit thicker and they have pockets. So they were $3.98, so a little bit more. I also got him these shorts. So his bottom, like his stomach and his butt is definitely 12 months, not 18 months. So I made sure to get all of the bottoms in 12 months. I also got him these little green ones because I figured that they can match a lot of stuff and they were $3.98 because they were a little bit more expensive or a little bit more like thicker. I got him just a plain black t-shirt because I figured you can't go wrong with that and this was $2.98. Granimals also. I think all of this is Granimals. So it's everything else that I got him in 18 month. Yes, so I saw that someone on TikTok had posted these band shirts and they were like, they have them in size 12 months and up. So I went hunting for these band shirts because I was like, they're so cute. They had like sublime, they had like some like um, racing car shirts, like Bronco shirts. And I was like, how cute would it to be to get him a little Bronco shirt because he's drive he drives his Bronco around the house. <coughs> Anyhow, they did not have any of those shirts, but the next size, the, so, all of these were on like one table and then this next size up so it was like 18 months and up came with like different um like graphics to choose from a little bit more mature graphics for a toddler so I was like okay let's get him some 18 month shirts you know he'll be like swimming in them but it'll be like a little oversized moment you know so I got him it's okay and I just thought it was real cute. I got him, it says, life's great, hang loose. These are so soft too. These look huge. Um, I got him good things to come. And this one, I can't tell if it's a Bronco or if it's a Jeep, but 
I just thought it was cute. This one says, enjoy the ride. And it's just like a little orange. And then this one was really cute. I found this one over in the little sale section too. And it says, living the good life. And it's a little skateboarding dude. So, new pile of clothes for Lou, which is exciting. Like I said, he doesn't have a lot. And these shirts are something that he can also kind of like grow into, the 18-month shirts. So, yay. Affordable clothes for him, which is, like I said, exciting. All of these shirts that I just showed you were $3.98. I don't know if I said that. So, anyhow, I'm about to pop all, all the tags off of them and throw in his laundry, get that washed. And then... um I think I may go sit on sit out on the front porch for a little bit while he takes his nap. Grab my cushion, grab my iPad. I'm gonna go play a little Monopoly Go out on the front porch. The house is picked up, ready to go. I think I'm gonna cook dinner and ask my dad if he wants to stay for dinner. Um, I'm gonna do the Parmesan, like crusted, uh, what do you call it? like parmesan crusted chicken dupe from Longhorn um, and a new cauliflower recipe, which I'm excited about that I saw on Pinterest. So I've never cooked a whole like head of cauliflower before. So I'm gonna give that a whiz, a whiz. I'm gonna give that a try tonight. I wasn't expecting Kevin to like do a full on vlog, so that's cool. So I'm gonna insert Kevin's little vloggy part here. Good afternoon. Been working on the property a little bit today and I got a lot of stuff back here mowed and I got a lot of stuff up front. All of this area here is all nice and mowed and taken care of. But my biggest thing that I accomplished today was working on an existing well pipe that we had in the ground and I wanted to see if there was viable water in it. So I took our old pitcher pump, slapped it on that pipe, and started pumping. And look at that, fresh, clean water. Perks of buying used property, good news. So for dinner, I was trying to bang it out real quick because I did not realize what time it was and Luca is in a grumpy mood today. Cue him crying. So I took one head of cauliflower, chopped it up, washed it, threw it in a bowl, added a fourth of a cup of olive oil, and then one packet of onion soup mix seasoning, like the packet, and then shook it up and then dumped it out on my sheet pan cooked it at 350 covered for 20 minutes uncovered for 10 minutes this is what she's looking like our chicken is still in the oven it has maybe like eight ish more minutes on it and then i will meat thermometer it and make sure that it's done and then we're gonna have dinner probably do bath time try to get luca down to bed because he has taken a one hour nap today and it was not good so my little experiment of trying to push his first nap back to see if it would help it did not it actually made the day quite difficult so Frogs. 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 Frogs.
Good evening. We're back on a Miss Rachel fix. Um, good morning. It's Wednesday? Yes. I didn't vlog the last two days because it's been a little busy over here. Monday, I drove back to Jacksonville to meet up with my mom so we could put in Luca's cake order at Publix. Um, she's gonna pick it up on her way here on the day of his party. So it's one less thing for us to have to worry about and do. Um, so we got, went and got all that ordered. I got to see my grandma for a little bit. We watched a little bit of the B movie, which Luca was very interested in. Um, and then that was Monday. Tuesday, yesterday, Luca had a doctor's appointment for his MRI, like a checkup for his MRI, to read the MRI, essentially. So I was back in Jacksonville for that, and um, they had called me. Hold on, he dropped a squid. So they had called me on Monday, and they were like, hey, can you come early to your appointment? And I was like, yeah, that's fine. Um, they wanted to move it up by an hour. So I was like, cool, you know, this is my first, this was my first appointment that I took Luca to the hospital himself by. So um, he's now at the age where like, we don't have to load up the stroller and all of that stuff. So for his last MRI, we just carried him in. Usually we take the stroller. When I got to the appointment yesterday, I was like, cool. We'll be get to like be back on the road an hour early because they moved our appointment up. They were also running late. So they ended up taking us around our original appointment time, if not a little later. And the doctor came in. She's like, I'm so sorry. They should have kept your original appointment time. I'm not even sure why they moved you up. And I was like, it's okay. But yeah, Luca was in rare form yesterday at the doctor's office. He he has gotten doctor anxiety because of how much he's had to go to the doctor lately. Um, and he has realized that they don't ever do anything fun with him or to him. So he doesn't want them to touch him. He doesn't want to lay down on the little table. He doesn't want his weight taken, nothing. So it's a struggle now. But today... I have an appointment with the social security office to get my new social security card with my new last name on it. So we're getting the ball rolling on getting my last name changed, which this was around the time that I wanted to do everything anyhow once we moved. So then I didn't have to hopefully pay multiple times for my driver's license. Um, I can get my name changed and my address changed all at one shot. So, but the first thing you have to do is your social security card. Also, I'm not sure if I really gave you guys an update on the coffee creamer. I just kind of did a few faces and I think that was it. But um, it's good. But surprisingly, the um, cinnamon does a lot. So I think I am going to make this again this coming week. And use the cinnamon now that I know that I can melt everything perfectly together on the stove. I'm interested to see how the cinnamon will incorporate. I don't think it'll melt because it's cinnamon, but who knows. Um, so I'm gonna make the original cinnamon roll again, um, just because I also need to kind of like meal plan at some point today. So we have Luca's birthday party Sunday and that means we're gonna have to do like a grocery shop before his birthday party, which we plan on going to Walmart before his birthday party to grab some stuff. Um, so we may just do our grocery shop there this week and try to make it easy, uh, easy on us so it's not too many trips to different places. Um, and this time I am gonna have Kevin take us to the other Walmart and see if it's any better. Um, Hopefully it is. Hopefully they have all the TikTok stuff that I kept seeing. Um, so I need to put a grocery shop together for that. I'm hoping we're not gonna meet, need meat because I don't really like getting meat from Walmart. Um, I have to look at our little meat chart over here and see what we have. I know we have chicken and stuff, but other than that, I'm not sure exactly what we have. But that needs to get done today. Let me write that down. Still writing down <clears throat> notes to myself. 
oh man, last night I made this for dinner and I was so frazzled last night that I did not film it. But essentially it was so simple. I saw it on Facebook and I was like, I'm gonna give that a try. It was a Caesar salad kit, okay? And then one can, one giant can of um, canned chicken. And then you just mix it all together and then you put it in a wrap and it's a Caesar chicken wrap. It was so good. But next time I make it, I'm going to do our own chicken, shred it with Kinder's, get a plain salad kit that doesn't have any dressing, doesn't have any extras in this, just essentially chopped salad. And then get um, our own Parmesan cheese for it and then Panera's. Caesar. I need to find where they sell Panera Caesar, which I think Alicia said they sell it at Walmart. So maybe I need to add that to our Walmart list and then make our own. So we got the keto uh, wraps. So anyhow, Kevin really, really liked it. So it was super simple. It was good for like a really, really quick dinner night. You just have to have the salad kit on hand or lettuce on hand essentially. Um, but it was really good. So I'm going to finish my coffee. Don't, 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 don't. I was a little unsure about how these muffins were gonna go, but he absolutely loves them, so that's good. They're kind of the same base as the waffles that I make him, so banana and all of that just basically added uh, blueberries. So I'm gonna let those cool and then I'm gonna box up five of them and then freeze the rest. But I was looking at where I have to go today <clears throat> and it's an area of town of, it's an area of a town that I've never been to. So, um, I asked Kevin to see if it was even like a, a safe area. Cause usually like our social security offices, well, I don't know. Sometimes like our government buildings are not in safe areas <clears throat> that I know of. So, um, anyhow, I was looking to see what was around that area and like on my way home and I noticed that I'm gonna have to pass by a Dollar Tree and I saw someone post because now you know Dollar Trees aren't only a dollar. Um, I saw someone post that they went to their Dollar Tree and like the party decor section was like party city quality. Now <clears throat> I keep getting messed up with or messed over on TikTok because I keep seeing these like amazing things on TikTok and then I go to like Walmart and it's not there. You guys are going to get tired of hearing me talk about how I can't find the shit that I see on TikTok in real life. Um, so I saw someone post that they had a backdrop stand at the Dollar Tree. It was one of the circular ones, like a big circle one. And I need a backdrop stand for Luca's birthday because I don't know what they did on our walls in our house, but our paint just does not stick, which is annoying. My original idea, I was going to tape the backdrop to the wall. It was going to be fine. Um, but now I'm starting to think it's not a good idea. It's going to pull. I mean, like... The tape, <clears throat> and we're using painter's tape, so it should not be pulling the paint off the walls. It's pulling the paint off the walls so much that it's pulling it down to the um, actual, like, the wall, the card, not the cardboard, but whatever the hell our walls are made out of um, in some spots. So that's what it did in Luca's bedroom. And then I had, there was a spot over by Luca's bathroom that I asked Kevin to hit with the magic eraser the other day um, because there was just like a spot on the wall 
that I thought was like a dirt spot or like a spot that someone rubbed up against or something and it created like a scuff. So Kevin started rubbing it with the magic eraser and then we realized it wasn't a scuff. It's like a gouge in our wall, but just rubbing it with a magic eraser and then the, um, like a washcloth, it was just wiping the paint off of our wall. So I'm going to need a backdrop stand. And I had one for our wedding that I sold to the wedding venue because I was like, I'm never going to need a backdrop stand. I'm an idiot. It's fine. Um, so I have two options. I'm hoping that Luca is in a great mood once we leave the social security office that we can swing by the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna do like, if he is in a good mood, I'm gonna do a drive by of the Dollar Tree and see if it looks safe to get out. Because like I said, it's in an area of town that I'm not confident with. Um, so if it seems safe, he's in a good mood, we may venture in and see what they have. See if they have anything else that I think I may need for his party. And then, um, then hopefully they'll have the backdrop thing. Uh, Target, no, Walmart had one of the circle backdrop things. They wanted $50 for theirs and Kevin was like, I can make you one. So that's my second option. If Luke is in a bad mood, the Dollar Tree does not look like it's safe, then we'll just continue home and then hopefully... This weekend, Kevin can make me a makeshift backdrop holder. He said that he has like the PVC pipes and stuff in his van to make it. So I don't doubt that he can make it. Like he can probably make it and like it would look good. It would look fine. It would do the job. <laughs> but I'm just like, I don't know. It would be so much easier to just be able to buy one and put it together and not have to have him do that because he has a lot on his plate for working in the yard before the party. So I'm trying not to overwhelm him by adding too much onto his list of things to do. All right, so I was slightly worried when we got to the social security office because for some reason I went with my mom when she got her name changed one of the times and um the social security office that she went to was very small and there was like I want to say there was a line outside there was literally like five chairs inside to like do the waiting and all of that and uh it was a very insanely quick process I remember so I get to this place and they had me do like fill out stuff online so I went ahead and I did that like prior to me going, um, filled out the application and everything. And then um, when I was like not too far away, they sent me a link to check in through like an app. So I did that once I got in the parking lot, it gave me a number and then I walked in and there was probably like 35 to 40 people sitting in there. And I was like, is this like the DMV where they can get super backed up and they're not actually going to take you at your appointment time. So I got real nervous and my appointment time came up. Two minutes went past my appointment time and then um, they called my number. So I was in and out. The paperwork literally probably took less than like a minute of him asking me questions. Just asking me where I want my new card sent to and all of that. So. That was good. I was happy with that. I got the paperwork to do my next step, which is going to be my ID. And then um, after that, I think I have to do, actually, I may be able to do like my tag, my ID and all of that in one round, possibly. I'm not 100% sure I need to look into that. But um, anywho, I wish the DMV could be that quick and like on top of it. I guess all those other people just had walk-ins which was an option, but I was like, why do a walk-in when you can literally choose an appointment type and do it all online before you go? So I passed the Dollar Tree and it looked safe. So we're gonna stop in since that literally took no time at all. He's in a good mood. So we're gonna give it a whirl. 
I think I'm going to possibly try to maybe grab, well, it depends on their party section, but um, I may, why is this guy going like freaking 10 miles an hour? Um, I may possibly try to grab more of the little acrylic, like party wear stuff, uh, like bowls and stuff to not display stuff, but like put stuff in. Okay, so I did a little, I went to the Dollar Tree. It was not a good one. It was also not, it like looked okay from the outside. Once I got inside, some sketchy people came in. So I was like, let's hurry up and leave. So I got from today's trip at the Dollar Tree, I got one more big clear bowl and then I got six little bowls because I wasn't really sure what I had here at the house that I had previously picked up. And it's a good thing that I grabbed those because I'd only previously picked up two of these, which I would have grabbed more of these instead of these little tiny individual bowls. But the Dollar Tree that I stopped at today did not have these. So, and then I had picked up one bowl. So, I think we're okay now. I need to like, list out all the stuff that we're gonna have as like toppings to the nacho bar these seem small now that i'm thinking about it but honestly i think for like tomato onion guacamole that kind of stuff these will be okay and then this can be like chips i can figure out something else to put the tortillas on um i also maybe plan to go to there's another dollar tree in the other direction and um kevin's talking about possibly having tomorrow off and if he does have tomorrow off he was offering to watch luca while i kind of like had a moment to myself so if that does happen i'm thinking i'm going to go to the dollar tree that's in over in the other city the thing that the city that i think is going to be an okay better one than this one that I went to today and then I may also go to Goodwill which is kind of in the same vicinity um I don't know if I told you guys this but as I was driving to the Dollar Tree from the Social Security office there was a Goodwill that I passed that I didn't know about um because I sort of kind of got lost and as I was trying to figure out if I wanted to go into the Goodwill because it looked very nice it was a standalone like had its own parking lot the parking lot was pretty empty and I was like that's a nice looking goodwill. Uh, there was this guy who popped out behind like a light pole and he had a cutout of a gun, like a cutout, like cardboard cutout of a gun. And he was pointing it at the cars that were stopped at the stoplight that I was sitting at and acting like he was shooting at us. So I was like, maybe let's not go to this goodwill by ourselves might be one that we venture out to eventually when Alicia's with us or my mom or something. So, um, I was going through what I do have for Luca's party to get a better idea of what I have and what I still need. Um, that way, if I do go out tomorrow, I have that information in my head, readily available. So, wow, okay. I got some little, um, like, things from Timu, right? I got this little excavator from Timu. I got this dump truck from Timu. I thought they were gonna be a little bigger, but they're not. And then I got this bulldozer from Timu and they're actually like decently well put together. I also got this little bag of excavators from Timu that I just thought I would throw on the table. Um, is that all that's in here? No. There's also like this little thing. There's a couple different, it was came with this whole little bag. And at first when I was like, I'm gonna make Lucas cake. I was gonna put these on the cake, but I'm glad that I'm not making his cake anymore. So let's just go over really quick what I have and then what I think I still need. So my backdrop that I'm putting together, hopefully, is going to take these streamers and then caution tape. So I got this caution tape, I think off Amazon. And then I got these streamers from the Dollar Tree. I got this set of signs off of Timu. Now I have yet to open them and read what they even say. So let's hope that they 
makes sense. We've got a yield. We've got a stop. Warning construction zone. Food zone, construction area, dump gifts here. That's cute. Detour, hard hat area, crew entrance, dig in, fuel station, welcome to the party zone. Okay, these are really, really cute and I remember them being like decently cheap. So this was good, this was from Timu. Like I said, I got this little bag from Timu. I got these from Timu and I think I'm gonna wash them and put them like on top of the cupcakes. So they're just like little shovels, but I thought they would look cute sticking out of the cupcakes. And then I may just put some like in a bowl. I may put them like in the onions to scoop onions out. I don't know. It's a lot of them. There's like 50 in here, I think. And I thought it was cute. It was construction-y. I got these construction hats that are incredibly thin and may or may not all be stuck together. I don't even know if I can get them apart. Oh boy. Okay, I got one out. Oh, it is for a child, okay. I thought I had a very small head. It may fit Kevin's head. Kevin has a really small child's head. I'm looking to see if it'll fit Lucas' head. I don't know. Um, I just got him to place around, you know? Not really sure. I saw someone use them to like put stuff in, but I'm not really sure how they kept them from falling over and all that jazz. So I think I'm just gonna lay them out and around. There's only like one or two other kids coming to the party. So that may have been a fail. Um, I got this little number one construction sign for on top of a cake. Um, Luca has a little smash cake that came free with his Publix cake, so I may put that on there. I got a black tablecloth for my table, my dining room table. I got I dig being one, and this is going to go on his high chair. Uh, I got this off of Amazon. I got a pack of 30, which I'm thinking I'm actually gonna need more of these, another pack of them. But I got a pack of 30 like cake plates, essentially. I got a happy birthday number one candle. I got this, which is supposed to be a whole balloon kit to make a balloon garland. Um, off of Timu. So we'll see. I don't really remember which one I ordered. Oh, 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 okay, Timu. This is huge. That's cute. Hopefully, my balloon blower upper thing, which I got from Walmart, is going to work well with these because I don't. <laughs> don't know but I think that might be I didn't even think that I ordered the one that came with the big balloon but um yeah these are the other stuff that I need should be in here let's see uh oh is this the piece that I need please see the piece that I need yeah so the piece to make the balloon garland and then this is like balloon string but I don't need this because I don't plan on blowing them any, any of them up with helium. So that's exciting. I don't think I was supposed to get the dump truck balloon. So I got that. I got this because I saw on Pinterest someone clean it out and put stuff in it. So I may put like the cutlery in it. Um, I got three cones from the Dollar Tree for decor and then Timu got me because I thought that when I ordered these that I was ordering the boxes that balloons go in and then the letters on the front um, but when I got it I realized I only ordered the letters so it did not come with the clear boxes that I thought so now I have four packs of letters I can spell his name out which is what I was planning on doing on the boxes um, to put by the front door 
but now that we don't have the boxes, I'm not really sure. And the boxes were kind of expensive, I want to say. And I don't think we have a party city bias. So that was the only other place I saw to get the boxes in time. So this idea was a fail. I'll hold on to it maybe for like next year or something and then get boxes. The last thing that I got from Timu is this cupcake platter um, that's a construction zone and tires. So I'm hoping this is going to look cute put together and not fall over. I did also get mini cupcakes. Um, I think we got like a little pack of mini, two packs of mini cupcakes to go with the cake. And I was originally just going to put them around the cake. I forgot that I ordered this. So that's why I kind of wanted to go through this and see what I had. So then when I went out possibly tomorrow, I know what else I need, which isn't a lot. I need to go through, list out all the food that we're going to have, make sure I have enough little containers for the food to lay out. And then I need to figure out if I have enough tongs, if I need to get more like of the clear little disposable tongs from Walmart possibly. Um, and yeah, I think we're, I think we're doing good on this stuff so far. So that's exciting.